Hi Virgos. Let's see what you guys have for me. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Let's see. Oh wow. First card is strongest, I have to say. And the two of cups. Emperor. Two of Wands. The Queen of Coins. Okay, so let's start here first. Okay, um, one, undeniably, undeniably, is that a word? Yeah. Um, you do have this wonderful connection with your person, which is loving, caring. Um, Two of Cups is, you know, like, you understand already the soulmate connection. It's, it's one of those feelings where you just know, you know, like, there are things that you guys do that um, you and your person really enjoys. So it's chemistry beyond any other connection that you had before, okay? Which is very good. Now, having the Two of Cups, this is showing, okay, let me see here. This is like the attraction and the chemistry between the two of you, okay? It feels like it's very magical, like they reciprocate, they take action, um, mutual feelings, mutual respect. This is this card, I like that, okay? Can be a Leo or can be a Cancer. Now you have an Emperor here, which is, from what I'm seeing, it can be if you connect with a Divine Masculine, then that's what it looks like, okay? Like your person connects with you as the emperor. Um, this is a boss, a superior, a leader. This is a no fixer upper Virgo, which means that, you know, they come to you ready. Oh, okay. Feels like it's actually a reverse because you're here. Okay. Now, on your end, you're just like, oh, this is good. You know, like maybe I'll consider two of ones, crossroads, two is our choices in partnership. Which means you as an earth sign, you're considering this person because they have been, you know, creating this impact in your life. All right. So it just it's it's just showing here that your connection with them is strong. And slowly, I feel like you are opening up to them. All right. So that's good. So you feel the chemistry, you feel the attraction. It's bomb, it's amazing. Um, and then Clearly, like the two of you also shares um, intimate connection here because there's two ones, okay? Now you have this, uh, you know, it could be like your third eye over here. It could be a seer, an oracle also. So you may be seeing a lot of guides. Mm -hmm. You have an amulet over here. So it shows you that you are protected. Your person here can be an Aries. Um, show an, a pillar over here. It can be a person working for a government, okay? They feel secure with their job. Okay, this is a person who looks at life and then conquers it. And you know, the sun behind this person is is a strong, uh, you know, symbol of authority. Okay, so a person of authority. You're very much stable in your end. You got pentacle behind you there, which means like work is good, career is good, business is good. Okay. Wow, marriage material, justice two of cups. Wow, lovers, moon, a full moon coming in, okay. So, what happens here? Having the justice card, this is about equal partnership. Person feels it, it's amazing. This is Libra, yin and yang. You know, the person brings balance to your life. This, this is wonderful. I mean, from what I'm seeing here is um, everything that you probably okay, could think of as a partner um, it's with them, okay, Virgo, and vice versa. So you've met the one, you've met the catch, can be a Libra or a Gemini, Leo, Cancer, Capricorn. So the world over here symbolizes opportunities from foreign land, which means like you guys could be, um, you know, foreign from each other or they were traveling or someone here is in foreign business because this is the emperor with the lovers, okay? Travel is involved also. Here it's showing temptation. You have the snake, you have the apple between the two of you over here. This angel wings is color red, which means there's a lot of lust. The arrow over here symbolizes Cupid's arrow. Okay, very good. And then there's a heart. So it's heaven sent. If you see that closely, there it is, right? Okay, so it's heaven sent. Now, there is a gap between um, the lovers and you're try you guys are trying to bridge in the gap. So they're working on this, you're working on it also. Okay, um, the moon, 
inside this locked chest over here is your feelings and emotion and what you think about your person. There's a Cancer in here or a Pisces, you see, there's a crab, there's a crab over here. So now it's showing that you probably feel like, okay, you know what, you know, I'm going to be vulnerable, I'm going to be, you know, this is about being seductive also with the moon, like alluring, chemistry, like you're slowly allowing this person to be more and more closer to you. So less guarded, more open, more vulnerable, okay? Eight of Pentacles, um, even though at your work, you're thinking about your person over here, you're busy, you're still thinking about them, and you're daydreaming here. Eight of Coins, the Moon, and the Lovers. It's like the future between the two of you is something that you do enjoy thinking and thinking and thinking about. For others, um, it's a lustful feeling of when are we going to be doing the dirty, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm seeing here. Wow, see, marriage material, ten of coins. You got the three of cups, you got the three of wands, and ooh, what happened there? Okay, okay, um, I don't know if you have a third party, meaning you, Virgo, has a choice, I don't know. Ten of coins, so you're getting serious with your person. This is the part where uh, I'm getting married, I do living in long term. The key and the key. So you're open for this. They're open for that also. Three of Cups is so happy. The two of you see each other like future-wise. It's like, wow, this is amazing. Like we both like doing the same thing. Um, we're very passion fa passionate with each other. They're passionate with their work. You're also doing that. It feels like you guys have your own life, but when you guys, the two of you together, you guys even enjoy more. Good. The moon and the three of wands, they're expecting, but the three of wands with the moon is not good expectation because this should be waiting for the sun, which means that your person is expecting that you will give this to them. So first it was equal, now it's one-sided. And when your person doesn't get it, they feel betrayed by you, Ten of Swords. It's just like your person wants you to be more open, more action on your end. Ten of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles, someone here could also have lost something that they're working on. Eight of Pentacles, can they be their job? Okay, hopefully not. Eight of Coins with the Ten of Swords. Um, Ten of Swords over here is showing that they don't want to be, wherever they're at, I feel like they don't want to be um, far from you if it's a long distance relationship, Virgo, okay? But so far, this is still good. Let's see where this is headed, okay? Let's see here. Okay. Since there's a lot of uh, um, good cards here, future wise. So let's see the future of this relationship with the Ten of Coins. I like that you, I feel like you really found someone that you connect with. Okay, let's see. Okay. Now, what is this Ten of Swords, though? If your person is, hasn't been honest, let's see. What do they need to tell you so you can understand them better so that this can work? Two of Cups and the Lovers. Like This is a soulmate connection. What is the future between you and your soulmate? It can be Gemini. It can be Leo. Okay, so love is there. Emperor is the next move that they're going to do. So what is their next move? Um, what do they think about you with the moon? So this person hasn't revealed everything to you. That's why all of a sudden it went south with the Ten of Swords. Two of Coins, should you allow this connection even to manifest? Like invest more and then continue it, basically. But you are happy though with the Three of Cups. Justice, will they give you what you want? This one, this is the Justice card. Okay, let's see that. If they're going to give you what you want. Okay, because this is, I feel like... Like, there is a build-up between the two of you, okay? So you are in the process of every day talking, seeing them. There are things, Eight of Coins, that you guys are working together. There are things that they're going to tell you, Three of Wands, that makes them happy and then vice versa. So it's very equal. I just don't understand why the last card, because first card is strongest, Two of Cups. Last card is strongest, also Ten of Swords. Why are you guys separated right now? Mm -hmm. When everything is doing well. Why did they give up? What caused the separation? Okay. So follow me down there. Link in the description box below for the extended reading. And let's dive deeper.